Okay, first part of the process is closing the seacock on the generator to make sure that no water goes all over the place when we disconnect the hoses. Next, we want to remove the sea strainer and make sure it doesn't reduce flow or anything like that. Then we're going to use this fitting here that we have to connect the Porta Flush Junior to the supply side of the generator. Here we've already removed the impeller to expedite things, but the impeller needs to be removed to allow flow to go through the system. And the next part is to disconnect the overboard discharge hose that gets connected directly into the exhaust elbow that's back here. And that will be your return for the flushing unit. Next step is connecting the Porta Flush Junior to the supply side of the system. Now we're going to connect the return side of the Porta Flush Junior to the return side of the uh, generator. Right now what we do is we do a water test to make sure none of the fittings are leaking anywhere until you get a return and once you know that you don't have a leak then we add the, uh, the barnacle buster to it. So now that we're done with the flush, we're going to disconnect our return line so that we can fresh water flush the system. Bring it back to our rinsing bucket over here and connect our porter flush to your back in. You can see all the residue and all the debris at the bottom of the porter flush junior there. Now we're going to fill it with fresh water so that we have fresh water everywhere in the system before we disconnect anything. And that's it. We're done. Now that we're done with the flush, we're going to disconnect our fittings disconnect the supply side. There's always a little bit of water that's going to come out because the system is full at this point. We're going to remove our fitting here on the sea strainer cap. Put the sea strainer back in. cap back up. Next we're going to take the impeller pump back off and put the impeller back in. Last part we're going to open up the seacock to make sure seawater can flow through the raw water pump. And that's it, we're done.